going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Five Some Dudes, baby. Today we're going to talk about the Farming Simulator Winter Riding Contest, which ends in less than two weeks. And we got 11 modders to talk about, including Sid modding doubling the amount of combines with his Lexian pack. Ooh, I can't wait. Let's check it out. There's still time to enter the Farming Simulator Winter Riding Contest. Write a creative story of your winter adventures in Silver Run Forest with a length of between 1,500 and 10,000 characters. Think up some different characters and what funny, adventurous, or mysterious events happen in their daily lives. Let your imagination run wild. Participation is very easy. Just fill out the form online, state what platform you play FS22 on, make sure your story is in English or German, follow the official rules, and do it all by January 15th, 2023, at 11.59 CET. Got less than two weeks. The rules are also very simple. Your story must be about Silver Run Forest in the wintertime, be family friendly, and only one entry per participant is allowed. Easy. The best three entries will each win a year two season pass. And for more information, check out the link in the description beside writing contest. Sid Modding is expanding the Class Lexian fleet with three more models. Currently, we've got the 2012 Lexian 600, the 2015 Model 600, and the 2012 Model 700. Sid's also going to be adding the 2017 Lexian 600, the 2015 Model 700, and the 2017 Model 700. He's currently reaching out to the community for more information on engine configurations and the latter 700 series in general. He's also looking to make these as realistic as possible. So if you've got one and you know the specs, hey, hit him up. They're also going to have some custom sounds, which is super awesome. As far as I can tell, those have already been added. And also, these and the American Yellow version should all come with the next update. However, that could change. No matter, I'll keep you guys updated once we got more information. Pepe 978's got another mod returning for Farming Simulator 19, the Ivy Co. 19038. He doesn't specifically come out and say that it's the IT Runner version from FS19, but as you can see, the tub's got some wheels on the back of it, and the truck is literally exactly the same as his previous version, and even the description is identically copy and pasted. Specs from Farm Sim 19 include 381 horsepower engine plus color and spoiler configurations. I also know that the FS22 version of his trucks have been making Ivy Co for PC only and rebranding for Fiat for crossplay. And I'm guessing we'll see the same thing here. There was also a semi truck version with a fifth wheel in Farm Sim 19, so I wonder if he's going to be adding that as well. Only time will tell. GNFS is back working on their self propelled sprayer alongside Agra Mods. This is going to be a South American inspired machine with a few different wheel options, including rice wheels and a canopy covered seating area. Not much else is known right now, but they do say that they'll bring us more information soon on this. And I will say, this is so cool looking. Wolf X Modding's got their next mod finished up and ready to go to Mod Hub, the Duitsvar DX90. This is going to cost you $42,000, got 90 horsepower, travels at 24 miles an hour or 40 kilometers per hour. It's also got main and rim color configurations, front weight, front fenders, beacons, exhaust options, and a front loader. The tractor also has simple IC to open the doors, rear window, and front window. You can also use mouse support for those as well. Since the mod was not finished until late last night, it still needs to go through the entire testing process, so it may be a while before we see it, but I can't wait. We've been talking about the container mod or mod uh, from Hispano modding a lot over the past few weeks and months, and we were curious where he's going to be taking it. And today, we get that answer. He's not only included almost everything that we saw in the original teaser last summer, but there's also been a lot that's been added to the project sheet since. We have loaders, containers, trucks, trailers, and a new one, maps. What? <laughs> We've known about the SMV4531 crane, the grain containers, the tipper containers, and we already have that T2000 truck. It's been out for like months at this point, but there's so much more on here that we don't have yet. Standard containers, tank containers, flat rack containers, six more trucks, 30 tipper trailer, 30 regular trailers, sorry, and six map items. I think there's actually two full maps on there. This is going to be one of the most epic mod projects of all time. I say project because that's probably what it's going to be. This is going to consist of many different separate mods individually. I guess the only question now is, which one are you looking forward to the most? By the way, Hispano Modding uploaded a high-res version of this sheet on his server, which I will leave a link to in the description. You can download it and zoom in to see all the little details and not miss a thing. And when I say high-res, I really, truly made it. Most screenshots I use on Farm Some News are just over 2 million pixels, so like 1920 uh, by 1080. This one is over 
238 million. Yeah, it's over 100 times larger. Let's let's move on. My brain hurts. BC Bueller Farms is back at it today with another new project that was announced a few weeks ago, the Landall 7431 VT. This epic disc hero also has a special trick up its sleeve. As you can see in this screenshot, it looks like it's also mulching in the front as well. If you do a little bit of research on Landall's website, they do say that this tool is meant to help break up corn stalks and things like that. So it makes sense that it would happen like that in the game as well. How cool is that? BC Bueller Farms is being very active right now when it comes to sharing information regularly. So definitely go check him out. Link below. LR Modding's got a few goodies to show off today. First up is the completed John Deere DB60 project. Now, he says his focus is moving on to the DB90 and DB120 models to match. As far as I can tell, he's saying that the DB60 at least is PC only for now, but uh, that could change over time. However, one mod that we do know that's for all platforms is his Demco 1250 and 1050 nutrient applicator. As of Christmas Eve, it was almost done and we haven't heard anything from him since, so I'm guessing it's probably finished by now. Who knows? <laughs> These are just a new way to get fertilizer into the ground in a little bit more of a realistic way. Calaruga Modding brings us their first mod of the new year, the Camara Strong Gondola Upgraded. That's been translated, by the way. It's just a trailer. The entire model has been redesigned, adding more details and configurations, and the issue with auto load on the previous version has been fixed. They do say that they've already submitted it for testing, so we should see it on the testing list soon after Giants returns next week. Since this is a Chimera branded item, it's only going to be coming to consoles if they also submit a Lizard version. However, uh, well, there's already a Lizard version of this trailer on Mod Up, so that's a good thing, right? Their entire post. Kind of makes it seem like it's new and also kind of makes it seem like it's updated. However, I'm 99% sure that this is just an update to their existing mod. Taylor Farm says that all of their maps have now been fixed up over the Christmas break and they're all back with Giants awaiting testing right now. We got the Prairie Farms Michigan map, which is a new map, as well as updates to Michigan Farms and the update to Frankenmuth Farming map. The PC only links have already been updated with the latest fixes on his mega folder, and you could grab those right now if you'd like. I do have a link to that in the description. Also, he's given Poor Boy Modding permission to use whatever he wants from Taylor's maps, which should not only improve those maps even more, but also adds very popular things to more maps, allowing players to enjoy more things outside just those Michigan farming maps. This is awesome. Hey, and speaking of poor boy modding, it's like I planned this ahead of time. He shared tons of screenshots and information on his upcoming Rogue River Valley over the Christmas break. And well, it seems like every like five or six hours, he's got new alfalfa, new bells, black beans, onions, rye. Of course, all those buildings from Taylor Farms maps and even a dedicated place to use the tractor pulling mod pack and monster truck that we've got. Oh, that's so cool. This map is going to be nuts when it releases, and it's going to have tons of features that players have been asking for. I could do an entire farm some news just on what he's added over the break itself, so go check him out because I don't have that kind of time. I'll leave him linked below and make sure that you tell him that DJ sent you. And lastly today, Dusty Dave dropped some more screenshots of his upcoming map, Rudelmore. He's aiming to complete the map sometime in the first quarter of this year, so sometime in January, February, or March. And if you missed the original teaser of this back at the end of November, here's a refresher. The map was once called Pemberlin Farm. However, it's been completely rebuilt with lots of new things added to bring the map up to his skill set and standards of today. This was one of his first maps ever back in the day, and it's seen a few versions since then. With a rebuild and a brand new name, he's bringing this map back to life in 22 and He's aiming for all platforms. And I'm aiming to make this self-aware segue the outro. Boop, boom, success. Uh, just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to everything that we talked about in today's video can be found in the description. And you can check out this entire video in the form of a news article on farmsimnews.com. There's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod is going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something you want to know about, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. I will also tell you that I'm getting caught up with everything from the Christmas break. We've got at least one more full video of stuff to do for that. So stay tuned for tomorrow. Also, make sure you just stay tuned for the channel in general so you get updated information on everything that you need to know about going on in the world of farming simulator. Ooh, long outro. Well, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you do and join the GoHam fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.
Day two being back as a full-time YouTuber, and it only took me twice as long to make this video as normal. I'm doing pretty good. 